Welcome to an episode of Off the Books, the series where I, Gaming J, play through whatever game I happen to feel like. Uh, no restrictions from any books or recommendations. Although actually this is a special Off the Books because it's the first episode where I decided to take a fan suggestion of a classic game. So this is Ski or Die. I've never tried this before, but one of my viewers, uh, Henry, I'm blanking on your last name right now, so I apologize, uh, but he recommended it to me. And seeing he's, how, he's, how he's one of the first and uh, only viewers to comment at the moment, he has complete say in all recommendations. So uh, let's just go ahead and give this a try. Uh, wow, okay, so this is use the bumps in the snow snowboard tube for big points. This is Rodney. He actually kind of looks a bit like Rodney Dangerfield. If Rodney Dangerfield was on cocaine. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is clearly on some kind of uh, narcotic. And I did load this game up very briefly just so I wouldn't be completely lost. And I guess the first thing we have to do is sign in. So let's go ahead and do that. An old Rodney there uh, can be high on his drugs while he watches us sign in. So, all right, first we have gaming. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, we'll just be J. But I'm not here vacationing alone. I brought along uh, a couple of friends. So I have uh, T-Dog and my posse here. And we're also gonna bring, how about uh, Pops and Lady L. There we go. That's our roster. We're not going to do six players because that might get a bit much playing through these events. Oh. So we're just going to go ahead and... All right, we've signed in, Rodney. Welcome to my ski shop. I'm Rodney. You certainly are, my friend. So we're going to hop into it here and get to the activity. So here we are. Uh, so this is me. I'm sporting a pretty awesome blue mohawk. And one thing that's neat about this game is that you can choose which event you want to you wanna play. So if you just want to go on the inner tubes, you want to go on the aerials. Um, we're actually going to go compete all because I've decided I think our backstory, I haven't fully th th thought, thought this through, but I've decided that my gang is kind of here to prove something. Uh, they're counselors at a day camp and they the, the basically the camp's going under, but they've managed to make a, a, a bet with the, the rival richer camp that if they're able to win, if they're, they're, they're able to ski or die, then they will, uh, the rich camp will pay for the poor camp to keep going. So that's kind of like the, the, I guess, theme of like every 80s winter movie ever. And just when I, oh geez, that was quite a hard tumble there. I'm like, I think my guy's down for the count. I, I think he's dead. Oh, no, he's alive. So this is Jay showing his moves here in the half pipe. And yeah, when I just tried out this game, it felt so 80s, oh, there we go, that I kind of thought we needed an 80s backstory to motivate us. So, you know, Jay is trying to win the heart of Lady L, but she's really got it for uh, Pops, I guess. And <laughs> Pops sounds like an old man. Or somebody who, who's, you know, uh, shoulder keeps popping out. So I'm just kind of going back and forth on this tube here. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know you or your dog. I guess he's so embarrassed. Didn't even want to acknowledge knowing me. Was that a... There's like snowmen. Like, what is that? Is that a, a bunny rabbit with a chainsaw? Oh, jeez. Doing embarrassingly bad here. And keep in mind, we have three other players who are going to make it through the half pipe here, so... We'll see how that goes. Ooh, look at that. I don't know how Jay figured that one out, but he did. 200, back on his back again though. I got five points for that though. Scarf Ice Frosty. And it ends abruptly. As abruptly as it started, it ends. All right, now T-Dog, this is his event. So he's got to kind of show Jay what's up. So it's an interesting game. It only has one button. I, I'm playing the DOS version here, and the only button is enter. So you use arrow keys and enter, essentially. And so I'm kind of winging it, because I figure if there's only one button, I mean, that's Atari-level complications. Er, <laughs> complications. That's Atari-level complexity. Oh, jeez, T-Dog took a dive there. 
And is that a penguin with a mohawk? Everything was so aggressive in the 80s. I mean, even the name of this game, Skate or Die. It's not like, come have fun skating. Like, that is a rabbit with a chainsaw. Right? Am I crazy? But yeah, it's not like, come skate or have fun. It's like, come skate or we will murder you. Okay. Oh, jeez. I wonder if this is, like, painful for people who know this game to watch. Watching me just constantly wipe out here. I can't land those brain dead poses. I can't land those, uh, when you flip around up here. Jeez. Come on, T-Dog. Pull it together, man. I don't even know how the points work. Like, do I have a good score or a bad score? Uh, well, he's slapping his face in embarrassment, so clearly a bad score. Alright. Time for Pops. Gets a little kiss from Lady L before he starts. And we'll see how he goes. So, another another thing this game reminded me of. So, I should say first off that I, I can't remember, really think of any 80s winter games that I played. Oh man, Pops. This this isn't Pops' sport, you know? He saw the others do it. He thought he could do it. Don't worry. Uh, by the end, the rich team's going to get disqualified for planting drugs on us anyway. Because we'll come back and we'll start to beat them. And then they'll realize that they're going to have to make good on their offer. So then, in typical 80s villain style, they're going to plant drugs to sabotage us. And we'll find the drugs, and then we'll be able to have a final showdown in the last event. So... Spoilers, I guess. I just ruined the whole plot of this imaginary movie. But I didn't really play too many sports games as a kid, and so I was trying to think, like, what's, what winter games do I remember? And I remember playing, like, Blades of Steel on the NES, which is a terrific game that I'm going to have to play someday. But that's about it. Like, I didn't play any of these, like, winter games type things, so... Ski or Die, this is a foray for me. And, uh, Pops is also embarrassed. He got a lower trick bonus than, than T-Dog. This is not going well. And we have Lady L. She's a camp counselor that all the kids like. Because, uh, she's hot where it counts. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess in all these, like, sort of teen comedy movies, it's all attractive people. Maybe T-Dogs is like our pudgy comic relief guy. He's like our uh, our Seth Rogen. Or, well, I mean, Seth Rogen's not too pudgy these days. He's a little bit. Um, who's the other guy from Superbad? Totally blanking on the kid's name. You know what one I'm talking about. Oh, I like when he goes face down in the snow, because that would be really painful. That would give you like a neck injury, at the least. Oh, God. Lady L, you were supposed to be better. So apparently Jay is our best uh, snowboarder here in the half pipe. The only thing I can do reliably is this, like, well, not that. Oh, Lady L. Ah, oh. scarf ice frosty. I like how. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do reliably is that handstand. I like how this uh, announcer is totally just. He's so embarrassed by us. Every time we do something, he like shakes his head. Probably because he's grimacing in pain, watching us fail. <sighs> that was harsh. Uh, wow, Lady L won. Well, good for her. All right, she's pulling the team forward. There really is no opposing team, I guess. We just have to imagine that they exist. But trust me, they exist. Okay, this is a tricky one because the arrow keys and the enter key kind of conflict, but... Okay. So, who are these dudes who are running around here? And, whoa, that guy... Jeez. Did you see that guy do, like, a tumble? Like, look at him! That's, like, high-level snowball stuff. I thought we were just having a friendly little snowball fight. I'm fighting, like, an army of dudes here. And they're pulling out, like, aggressive moves on me? What is this? Hey! There, there's no animation for when I throw snowballs. It's kind of... You just have to... A polar bear in underwear. Oh, 
well screw him okay so we're we're very far north we're not like at a ski resort we're like in the arctic circle here if they're polar bears come here you little stop it i i got an eskimo now that was an instant bystander do i do i lose points for that and i don't is this a sport that happens at ski resorts you're going to go into an ice fortress and literally every other skier is just going to take turns throwing snowballs at you. You're out of time, slick. I didn't even know there was a time limit, to be honest. Wait. North, west, east, south. Could I have looked in different directions? Interesting. Uh, hold on here one sec. Right. There you... Oh, man. So... Interesting fact about Ski or Die here. I tried to look it up a little ahead of time because this is not in the book. Um, my main series, Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm working my way through a book called Let's Play 1001, or no, 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. Well, I can't believe that I sometimes forget the name of that book. But anyway, this is not one of the games in the book. That's why I'm playing it on this off the book series. And so there was nothing for me to read about this game ahead of time, so I decided to kind of do a bit of internet research. The Wikipedia page for this game leaves something to be desired. Not very detailed. These guys, they're so... Like, they're, they're taking snowballs way more seriously than I did as a kid. They're, like, doing somersaults. This guy's, like, sneaking up. He's probably crawling through snow and ice on his belly. Ah, I missed that penguin. Anyway, so there wasn't much to read uh, about this game on Wikipedia, so I did a little searching. There is a Ski or Die fan site. And I'm not talking about like a fan site from like early, early days of the internet. How did T-Dogs do? 2030. Is that good? He had 300 snowballs left over. That is more snowballs than I've ever thrown in my whole life. Can you imagine sitting in this little ice fortress with 300 snowballs? I'm imagining that we're throwing it at the, these opposing, the rich counselors that uh, are bothering us. Like, look at them. They're dressed kind of like, like D-bags here. And they're like neon snowsuits. A Yeti. There's a Yeti. Confused him. He's probably like, why would you throw a snowball at me? 200 snowballs. Jeez. Anyway, there's a fan site for this game. And yeah, I'm not talking about a fan site from like the early, early days of the internet when people had like GeoCities websites and people would make a website that was like my favorite flavors of ice cream and this is a picture of my cat. No, like there was a website. It started in 2006 for Skier, Skier Die here. And it was active until 2012. Six years there was a fan site uh, about this game. Wouldn't you run out of stuff to say in six years? Like, honestly. Um, at a certain point, I think e everything that can be said about Ski or Die uh, has kind of been said. Like, a Ski or Die fan site doesn't seem very sustainable. Because they're not... I mean, this this is a game from 1990. They haven't made a sequel to it. Go to time, Slick. Only 295 snowballs. All right, Lady Al, this is your chance to prove it. You have to hit 50 kids. Oh, geez, there's actually a, a interesting. All right, let's 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 do it. She's not above whacking a kid in the face with an ice ball. Put a rock in there, really teach him a lesson. I don't know why you kids volunteered for this, but it was the dumbest thing ever. We get pelted by snowballs. We're gonna give your opponent 150 snowballs. That would not be a fun game to participate in. Anyway, yeah, I mean, the the last thing that was posted on this fan site was a survey. What was your favorite Ski or Die event? Um, and you could do things like download the Ski or Die themes. I mean, just, oh, there's a skier. He, <laughs> he's mad at us. He wasn't involved in this. But yeah, like, how much Ski or Die content do you, do you need? This is crazy. And what's really funny, actually is I, I looked around on the site a little bit and I tried to go to tips and cheats because, you know, I figured I'd never play this game before. Let's see maybe if it has some good advice. That section was under construction. Yeah. In the six years that this site was active, they didn't get around to finishing it. Was there that much Ski or Die content? Like, seriously. Um, 
Ooh, that was a tight race, but Jay pulled ahead. All right, now the downhill skiing part. Did, did they just drop me from a helicopter? Jesus, that's pretty harsh. All right, let's do this. This is the die part of skier die. Because this looks very dangerous. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm down already. Okay. Oh no, oh god. Okay, this seems, this is surprisingly hard. The trick is to go slow, I imagine. Although I'm sure the points come from going fast. I'm like all over the... I think Jay had a few drinks before he decided to ski here. Right. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, what do I do now? What do I do? What? That's... What, could I get by that if I was going fast enough? I mean, there's... Land below, so maybe. Oh god, it's so hard to control. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so again, this is the die part of Skier Die. Oof, had a good, good groove going there. I can't get it to just stay straight. It's so sensitive. Oof. I wish I knew how to jump. No, I thought that was the end. What? There must be a way to jump. I'm totally missing a button here, I think. Whoa. Imagine watching someone actually do this. Like, being at the bottom of a hill and watching a guy literally kind of like tumble his way down. Ooh, now we're doing good. Oh, I spoke. I messed it up. Yeah, watching a guy, like, tumble his way down a hill. Ugh. This is, like, what happens if you handed your controller to, like, your little brother. And you never want to do it, because you just wanted to practice and get better, but you give it to them. And they just kind of fall the whole way. Jay doesn't look very happy about that run. And I gotta say, I'm not happy about that run. Next downhill skier. Literally, they just drop us from the sky, and we land face first into this mountain. We're kind of dusting ourselves off. In the top right, there's like the little EA logo. There's another game I played, oh, Pitfall, that had the Activision logo at the bottom. In fact, I don't even think I'll have released Pitfall at this point. Okay, well, pro tip, Pitfall is coming up on my channel. Um, I feel like it'd be very narcissistic for a company these days to release a game and just put their logo, like, as a watermark at the bottom of the screen. People would kind of make fun of them for it. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Oh, you know what? Down makes me go down, so maybe up makes me jump? No, up just slows me down. Space. Oh, there's got to be a button here. Yep. Oh, I did I land over there? No. <laughs> Oh, T-Dog. Okay, so what's happened at this point in the movie is that my team is realizing that all of their skis have been sabotaged by the other team because we were doing so well in the other events. We snowballed 50 kids in the face. We did surprisingly good at the half pipe. No matter what you think, that was actually a good run. And now we're just all over the mountain. We're getting battered by trees. We're bumping on these little things. You know, I don't even ski for real, so I don't know the names of things. But every single person on my team is real realizing that they've been sabotaged. And they're all coming in with scores of zero, which is consistent with the... I always go this way, but it's always a trap. Why do I do that? Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty dangerous looking ski slope. Again, though, I guess the game is called Ski or Die. They weren't kidding. One step away from holding a gun to your head while you ski. Ugh. Maybe we're also drunk. Not only have our skis been sabotaged, but we're drunk too. Okay, we'll try going this way. I guess maybe is there like a... Maybe you just have to memorize which way to go. Is that it? 
Cause yeah, that's like a dead end up there, so you're not supposed to go there. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, jeez. Okay, now, he, he was on such a good run, and now it's just... Wipeout after wipeout. Shoo! Well, uh, he's not happy about it, but I feel like I'm improving. Slowly. So our goal with this event for Lady L here is just not to not to uh, screw up too bad. Okay, we're going to the right. Oh, that lasted for two seconds. Oh, where's a dead end anyway? But so is this. Confused here. This kind of reminds me of when my brother and I were kids. We would toboggan. And one time we were tobogganing behind my grandma's house. And we got it in our heads that we should go down this hill that had trees. And we thought, like, it was this big old wooden toboggan. Like the sleds. Like, not, not like a GT race or something. So it was one of those toboggans you couldn't steer. You just kind of went down in a straight line. And we got into our heads that we should go down this huge hill that had all these trees. And we would, like, lean left and right on the, on the, the sled. And it would steer it around the trees. So we could be whipping past all these trees. So we decided to do it. Of course, the first tree that, you know, we started to move towards, not only did leaning do nothing uh, on a sled like that, but I leaned left, my brother leaned right. We went face first into the tree at a very fast speed. Uh, the sled was a metal sled, and the whole front end of it was like dented because it, it ended up hugging the, the tree. So you had this huge dent in the middle of the, the sled. And, uh,. We had to make up some story about how we accidentally ended up going down that hill for our mom to explain why we ruined that sled. Okay, we got no points in that. We were definitely sabotaged by the rich kids. And that sucks. Pops, what does overall mean? Is that is he like number one? Oh, here we go. So those guys in the top are our judges. We have... The kid from Captain Planet. We have the young Cyclops. Then we have... That looks like... I don't know, young Snape or something. Then we have some crazy TV announcer from Smash TV. And we have a perverted, coked out Rodney Dangerfield. That rounds out our judges. And here we go. Jay's going to do some tricks for you. Which consists of just opening his crotch up. <laughs> and... Breaking his back. So Snape liked us. So did Rodney. We literally got less than 1 out of 10, though. Oh, that hurts. That that sucks, guys. All right, here we go. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, the exact same thing happened. We're, we're improving, though. We're slightly better. Okay, come on. We got this. It's this, it's those backward spins that, oh, messed me up. I was holding down to keep spinning. Oh, man. All right, T-Dog. So Jay is lying unconscious in the lodge right now because of just how rough those hits were. Huh. Oh, we did it. We landed. We are in the 25, no, we're in like the 30% range. 3 out of 10. That is awesome. T-Dog will take it. Ooh, I figured out how to land. Okay, T-Dog. Jay is seriously injured. You're going to have to do this for the team, man. Ah. Oh, he, <laughs> that's like a... This, the skiing avert, uh, equivalent of a belly flop right there. Ooh, okay, Pops. Pops, you were raised with this. You have to show them what's what. Oh! They all get caught in that, like, lean back. It looks like a fail video. Like, if you go on uh, Fail Blog or something and watch 
watch a fail video of somebody skiing, it's that. Okay. Well, you didn't get hurt, and that's what matters. Oh, come on, we got a break. We got to get, what, a six? A six or seven. We got to prove to ourselves that we can do it. Ah. Oh. Every time, and then they just go limp like a rag doll, like they're not even moving. This is this is what would happen if I actually tried to ski. <laughs> wow, she she even went into the slope. That's crazy. All right. Come on, Lady L, redeem us. Redeem the team. <laughs> no. <gasps> we landed. Oh, come on. That's a six. What are they paying you guys? You guys know that was a six. Uh, oh. I'm really just, I'm, I'm kind of butting that, button mashing at that point. Um, so T-Dog won? Look at Jay's score. He did horrible. Is Pops really second out of everyone? Ooh. Oh, this is funny. It's gonna make Jay and T-Dog go against each other. But I have to control them both, I guess? We're supposed to be on the same team. I don't even know how to shoot the other guy. This would actually be a fun, uh, fun sport for real. I'm literally playing against myself. I wonder what happened if I'd only picked one person. Would it have given me a computer opponent? Or... Let's be friends. T-Dog and Jay decide not to fight anymore. But yeah, would it have given me a computer opponent or what? Yeah, a fork's getting me. This, this seems like the most interesting part. Okay, I, I've lost control of, uh, I don't even know if it's Jay or T-Dog. You know what? When you have your characters look near identical, whoa, <laughs> it's really hard to... Okay. Well, I guess if Jay goes, he drags the other one along. Wow, this is, this is like the most embarrassing winter event ever. Get out of my way! So I don't even know how you're supposed to get points there. We went from like legitimate... Well, actually, you know what? That wasn't... We weren't playing many legitimate uh, things. Because we were playing like... Um, what was it? The snowball one. That is not a legitimate winter sport. So I guess this game mixes real sports with fake ones. One hit, look at me. But uh, this is the one sport I would actually like to do with my friends. Go down on inner tubes together and just like bump into each other the whole way. Actually, I have done that before. And I highly recommend it. All right. I guess we get points by like bumping into each other, but I mean it's really counterproductive because we're on the same team here. In in my view, I know in, in reality of the game we're not, but hmm. so it's interesting that all the events are single player until you get here. And again, what would happen? We'll we'll hop into this. <laughs> oh no. So we're on a little peaceful drift down the hill here. We're supposed to be killing each other, but uh, frankly, I think they're both passed out in the tubes and they're kind of just bouncing aimlessly here. And there we go. And I guess that guy won. I also like how they're both, they're really like in their underpants. And uh, yeah. So 
I don't know how you win at inner tubes, but apparently Jay did, so good for Jay. Oh, and that's it. Oh, man, I didn't even look at the final rankings. Are you serious? Can I, like... Did Rodney save them? You're joking me. Damn it. <laughs> All that effort to see... Well, I mean, again, the whole my whole premise was we were on the same team. But nonetheless, I would have liked to know how my guys placed. I don't even know. In, uh, I guess, in retrospect, again, you guys can look at the video and see. But wow, that is hilarious. Um, okay. Let's go back in here. We're going to try one more thing here before we call it a day with Skate or Die. And that one thing is to delete all these characters. And then see what happens on this little inner tube thing. Here. Whoop. All right. There is an opponent. That is so interesting that... Oh, and he's kind of aggressive. Okay, this is this is the inner tube ride you want to watch. He's he's spinning me. He's like humping me into a corner or something. Let me go, dude. Dude. And he's getting points for this? He has 1,600 points? That's like more than I made the whole time. And I was playing against myself. Jerk. I guess, I guess when you know what you're doing, it's easier to be good at a game. Who knew? Did I get him? His thing deflated. Is that worth no points? Okay, I have a fork here. Oh, I got 125 points for something. I don't know what's happening. Come here, Lester. This, this is the showdown with the other camp. And it doesn't matter if they're getting all the points, because they're totally going to be disqualified. And we will be the victors in our camp for misfit kids. We'll still open next year, and their rich old camp won't. Because that's how these movies end, right? This is a very... He just punched me in the back of the head! He's... Look! He's taking shots at me! He caused a concussion, man. I... He just fell off the side of the mountain, though. And again... <laughs> hey! Don't punch my... my tube. Get out of here. I can't believe you don't get any points for pushing a guy off the side of a cliff. That should be 4,000 points. I mean, when you fall yourself, that should not count against you, because I just did it, but... Okay, give me this bomb, or dart, or whatever it is. How do I throw it at you? Ugh. I wonder if this is, like, painful to watch. I wonder if this was a colossal mistake playing this, because people are like, You pressed the ENTER button to throw it! You kidding me? Because, yeah, that's that's pretty embarrassing. Lester got more points than all four of my guys combined when I did that as a team. That's embarrassing. Well, I think we've established that uh, Ski or Die is not necessarily my game. But again, in the spirit of, you know, what I'm trying to do here, I'm just playing retro games, trying some out that I've never played before. And, I mean, this is pretty cool. This whole, like, overhead map and being able to skate around. I briefly contemplated trying the Commodore 64 version of this game, but I remember how hard it was to play uh, Summer Games 2 and how long the load times were and how frustrating it was and how much I had to edit it because it didn't really even work. And so I've decided... To go with the DOS version of Ski or Die, uh, seem to have the best graphics anyway. So the com this is kind of fun, actually, just doing this. The Commodore 64, I'm not done with it. I definitely do want to play some more Commodore games, but sort of only games that will only run on Commodore, I think. Um, just for obvious reasons. And is there anything else I wanted to say about this game? You know, I guess I end all my Let's Play 1001 game videos with Should You Play This Before You Die? And I'm not trying to make... I'm not trying to necessarily say these off-the-books games are games you should play before you die, but in terms of fun, this actually wasn't too bad in terms of uh, an old sort of sports game. It's fun that it gives you the option to select events. You can create teams. Um, some of the events are, seem more interesting than others, but it's definitely a good mix, and it's 
kind of cool that it mixes real events with sort of these made up ones like the inner tube or the snowball event and yeah oh and uh, yeah these burton signs that you've been seeing everywhere that was very very early product placement i learned that from the ski or die fan site so all the bashing i did of the fan site i guess is redeemed by the fact that it had some trivia that i didn't really read anywhere else on the web Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and if you want to see me play other games that you cherish, go ahead and leave me a comment, because this is the first game that I decided to try based on somebody's recommendation, and it definitely will not be the last. So I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and until then, guys, uh, peace.